The deputy speaker of the 10th House of Representatives, Benjamin Kalu, has assured Nigerians that the 10th House of Representatives will ensure openness, transparency, and accountability in its conduct of legislative businesses. Kalu said this during a one-day national dialogue on mainstreaming open parliament into the 10th Assembly agenda, organized by Other Paper and the Par Parliamentary Monitoring Organization in Abuja. On his part, the executive director, other paper and chief convener, OK, Epia, says the legislature, as the most important component of government charged with making laws for good governance and ensuring order in the society, must carry the citizenry and the civil society. With respect to this specific dialogue that you have come to join us on, we want to be able to infuse or set on the agenda of the National Assembly as it prepares and runs up on its legislative agenda, how it intends as an institution, how its members as distinguished senators and honorable members intend to engage with citizens, not just their constituents, intend to engage that they not only infuse the interest, promote and project the interests of citizens, in the legislative agenda, which I'm sure that they're already doing. Uh, how do we extend that engagement beyond just infusing the interests of citizens and constituents in the legislative agenda of the Senate and of the House of Representatives? How do we evaluate and monitor the implementation of the agenda so that, such that it incorporates the principles of open parliament? In his response, and while declaring the event open, Kalu, who represented the Speaker, assured Nigerians that the 10th Legislative Assembly will be open, transparent, and accountable to the people, stating that these three components are the cornerstone of any thriving democracy. This Assembly is resolute in its pursuit of leveraging technology to streamline communication, facilitate access to information, enable meaningful engagement between citizens and the elected officials. Furthermore, but the spectral government governance is not a mere boss word for us. No, it is the cornerstone of our legislative agenda. We intend to establish mechanisms that enable citizens to actively participate in the legislative process ensuring definitely that their voices are heard and their concerns are addressed. Then the legislative process provides for the conduct of public hearing, like uh, the ED said in his uh, opening remarks. For every public hearing, Nigerians of diverse backgrounds and fields, they are uh, invited and they, are, uh, they appear and uh, attend these hearings, either as stakeholders to submit and make oral presentation or as participants to witness or partake in the process that must be undertaken before a bill becomes an act of parliament. The activity is usually announced in the national dailies and sometimes in the electronic, and the, for wider, in the electronic media for wider coverage. It is usually covered by both the print and the electronic media and in, in these days of the internet, the information is dis disseminated with the speed of light. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.